Okay guys, welcome to this video. Today's video is on how to bench test a starter motor. Okay, uh, this starter motor was um, intermittently not starting. Okay, but you can remove the starter out and you can test bench test it to see if, um, if basically it's operational. So this part of the starter motor here is what we call the pinion. You can see it has a, a starred wheel on it and it connects directly onto your flywheel. Okay, once this turns, that'll turn your flywheel, which the flywheel is bolted onto your crankshaft, which then obviously um, gets the engine in motion, then gets your pistons coming up and down. Okay, so this bit here is your main starter motor body. That's the bit that gets a direct 12 volts. And this bit here is your solenoid. Okay, this tends to be the more common faulty part of starter motors. Um... You know, you can take these off, as you can see here, there's there's two bolts here and here. You can take them off and, you know, lubricate them up and make sure that um, it, it's in good operation. So, basically, that's a quick description on how a starter motor operates. So, what happens is, the, the solenoid gets energized, okay. Um, it'll push out the pinion, here, connects onto the flywheel. Then a direct 12 volt from the battery goes into the motor which starts turning and then that will start spinning that, okay? Now this one here, I had to set this up with a three-way wire. So you can see I have a wire around here where the switch goes on here. I'm just going to connect on my um, lay feed and then over this side, this is my, my negative. So my negative is I'm earthing it to the side of the starter motor there, okay? Um, usually you'll have a it'll be earthed through one of the bolts on the gearbox a starter motor bolt usually okay so I've got power to this already now anytime you're, you're doing something like this make sure you're wearing the correct PPE you're wearing spectacles and whatever okay because it can be quite dangerous you can't get sparks and stuff coming so usually I would just use the use this end here um, and I would just clamp it on the here and here, but you can't with this one. So that's why I've had to sort of use a three-way wire. And all I need to do is touch the pin in here. So you see the pinion coming out and, and the motor turning the pinion. Okay. I'll turn that part off. So that's basically a... Um, a bench test for a starter motor a simple way to test to make sure that the starter motor is, is operating this one is a start stop motor by the way starter motor um, so it, it, they're a lot more expensive than a normal starter motor but as I say it's just a wee quick test that you should be carrying out to determine whether the starter motor is faulty or not if that doesn't come out or doesn't move then you'll know the starter motor is, is completely faulty Okay, so hopefully this video has helped you today, um, helped you on your automotive journey. Any questions, pop them through, and please like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks very much.